2009, I was singing uh, Carmen in the Verona Arena. And a uh, very famous uh, architecture friend was with me, Pier Paolo Maggiora. And he said, um, oh, it's so wonderful. So Friere is so great. And I said, yeah, it's very, it costs a lot. And, uh, and then we started to, to speak uh, about the scenes, the scenography, and, and, and I said, uh, you, could, you could just design something for us and, uh, and uh, make turn like the avatar and something in three, uh, 3D. And he said, oh, you know, it's, it's very, very um, difficult and it's too expensive and too, too. And I said, well, but think about that. And one day he called me and he said, look, I was thinking um, about what we be just you're speaking. And I think uh, it, it's a great idea. So let's start it. And so we started. cinema, doing special effects. In fact, my first job doing special effects was for cinema was in, um, in Milan, working for Digitalia on the film of Sal Salvatore's Nirvana, which was, I think, 1996. Mm -hmm. Then in 1999, I worked on Matrix in Sydney, Australia, Tomb Raider in London, and various films. And then in the last five years, I've changed direction a little bit and started working for in real-time graphics, real-time 3D, 2D, that is also sound reactive. What I want to say that is that Bela Bartok and Bela Balage um, wrote a very strong color structure. It's a limit, but I like to work within boundaries because it gives me the chance to improve myself and to find new solution every time. But, for example, in this case, this is not the only boundary that we have because we are mixing together uh, uh, different languages. We are mixing cinemas, we're mixing light designer and theatrical lighting, but we mix also a new technology, that is 3D technology. Mm -hmm. So it's an explosive mix, give me a chance, the incredible chance to work with light into the 3D, but in real time. That's the incredible thing. Mm -hmm. 